Well, the numbers are staggering and really they're disturbing. Every month in Houston, tens of thousands of people are sharing images of child pornography. Yeah, they live in the city, out in the suburbs. No neighborhood is immune. Detectives are ramping up the fight now using new technology to track the exchange of child porn and arrest those responsible. Tonight, investigator Robert Arnold has a closer look at their efforts and additional steps that parents need to take to protect their children. It's a one-story house, three bedroom. The whole reason we're here is for digital evidence. So they have it, seize it, off to safety first. A crescent moon hangs over a pre-dawn briefing in the Katy area. The target is child pornography. We're looking at cell phones, laptops, iPads, hard drives. The work that led sheriff's deputies to this house began online. Chasing the guy who's chasing your kid? Well, I'm all over that. Gary Sperger heads the Harris County Sheriff's Office's High Tech Crimes Unit. How prevalent is the sharing of child pornography? It's around 11 to 12,000 in a 30 day window, just in the greater Houston area. Pit are sharing. Pictures or people? People. 11 to 12,000 12, people? Well, only on one network. How many networks are you monitoring? Uh, there's seven or eight. You could extrapolate that there's 25 to 30,000 people sharing at any given time in a 30 day window in Harris County. That's a stunning number. It's a huge number. It's a huge problem. To that point, look at this Houston map. Each dot represents someone making child pornography available for sharing. That was in the four hours since I got to work this morning. Pull out wider to see the entire US. And in real time, these red dots show the sharing of child pornography is constant. Images of child pornography have a unique value that are cataloged in a nationwide database shared by law enforcement. Specialized programs prowl the web looking for those values. Values. We're not looking at people downloading files because we can't see that. What we can see is people who are making it available for share. Which brings us back to our early morning raid in Katy. In addition to overwhelming numbers, this raid also shows how time-consuming a single investigation can be. Investigators say someone at this house was offering to share at least 300 images of child pornography. Nobody's getting arrested today. Why? All we have is evidence that crime was being committed from an electronic device at this residence. We do not know who was committing the crime. Those in the home are interviewed. None confessed, and all electronic devices devices seized will be forensically scanned. How long before criminal charges may be filed? It'll be between three to four months after we've completed our initial search. Sperger says the sources of child pornography range from commercially made in the United States and overseas to family members victimizing relatives. Each image shared hundreds, if not thousands of times. We also have children, unfortunately, who are making their own child porn and not realizing it. Sperger says that can entail a minor snapping a nude photo of themselves to send to a boyfriend or girlfriend. It hits one school, the next thing you know it's across five or six schools. Well, now that one image has been replicated a thousand times. Garza says a child can be coerced into sending a single racy photo of themselves to someone they think they can trust, only to have that single photo used as blackmail. Well, if you do not send me more, I'm going to tell your parents what you're doing. And there's nothing worse than looking at a parent and the parent's telling you, can you get this off the internet? And you have to look at the parent and tell them, no, there's no coming back. Investigators say collecting child pornography is usually a precursor to a child being sexually assaulted in the real world. The age range of children most targeted by pedophiles online is between 10 and 17. On click2houston.com, we've got a breakdown of things parents can do to better safeguard their children online. It's under the investigate section. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.